Determine the first derivative using first principles. So remember, the first principle formula is this one over here, okay? So we can say that the first derivative is equal to the limit as h goes to zero, and then you've got this formula f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, now there are a lot of learners who struggle to use this formula. Let me try and make it easy. So you see f of x, they, so that goes there, you see? Um, and then this part, let me show you how to do that part. So what that part tells you is you must take all of the x's that you see over here. For example, what, what, what would you do? Okay, so let's say we have f of x, and that's negative x squared. So what would you say if I said f of 1? Well, you would replace all the x's with 1. If I said f of 2, you would replace all the x's with um, a 2. So what if I say f of uh, w? Then you would replace all of the x's with a w. So what if I say f of x plus h? Then you must replace all of the x's with um, x plus h. So like that. And that is what you would put there. Okay, and so let's go write this down. Remember, we have to write this limit as h goes to zero the whole way down. I know it's annoying, but just got to do it. Okay, so you're going to say negative x plus h, okay? Then you're going to say minus, which is this minus, and then you're just going to put the f of x, which is that. So it's also got a negative, okay, and then h. There we go, not too bad, eh? And now we're just going to go simplify as much as possible. So, um... I know that this negative and this negative makes a positive. Now, to, there's a lot that can go wrong here. I find that this question is actually quite challenging with that negative. So leave this negative alone. Open up two brackets because there's a two over there. There we go. Okay. And so leave this negative over there. And then go multiply out the two brackets. So it'll become x squared plus xh plus xh plus h squared, plus x squared. Um, now in the next step, go put the negative into the bracket. You can also put these two together. So xh plus xh is 2xh. Okay, so that's gonna become uh, negative x squared, then negative 2xh, negative h squared, plus x squared over h. You've maybe heard me say this before, maybe you haven't, but at this step over here, when you've gotten rid of all of the brackets, Everything that does not have an H should cancel at this step. If not, you've made a little mistake and it's usually this negative where you haven't used it correctly. But have a look here, this doesn't have an H and this doesn't have an H. And look at that, negative X squared plus X squared, they cancel. That's good. Everything else that has an H does not cancel. Okay, and so now we go limit as h goes to zero. And so at the top, we're gonna have negative xh minus h squared. At the bottom, we have h. Take out h as a common factor at the top. If there is more to take out, don't. Just take out the h. Um, and so you'd be left with negative 2x take away h. The reason we just take out the h is so that it cancels with this one. So you see they cancel out. Okay, limit h goes to zero. And so now it just gives us um, negative 2x take away h. At this step, you can let h become zero. Kevin, why can't we let h become zero in these steps? Because you have a h at the bottom and you're never allowed to have a zero at the bottom. Ah, but now you've canceled out the h that's at the bottom. And so you can, um, you can now just say um, equals, and then we're gonna let the h become zero and that's gonna give us negative 2x, and that is the final answer. If you did this using the FOST method of taking the first derivative, you also get negative 2x, but because they said first principles, and it's for five marks, you have to go do this long method.